Turton School Geography People and Place through Pattern and Process Welcome to the Geography Through Diagram series with Turton Geography. This video looks at how to draw a section diagram of a waterfall. As with all diagrams, it's best to start with a box. This helps you ensure your diagram is a reasonable size, too small and it's hard to understand and even harder to label. Of course, this is an animation, so you should draw your box using a ruler. So, as we are drawing a waterfall, let's start with the riverbank. This will give us a sense of perspective. Then, we're going to add a layer of resistant rock. This is resisted vertical erosion. Now the water flowing off the resistant rock and onto the less resistant rock beneath. This falling water has deepened a plunge pool at the base of the fall through hydraulic action and abrasion. The swirling water and bed load have also undercut the resistant rock which becomes weakened until it collapses into the plunge pool. In this way, the waterfall retreats upstream, leaving a deep, steep-sided gorge downstream of the fall. Now let's add some labels, the resistant or harder rock overlying the softer or less resistant rock. We've got to label the waterfall itself and at the base of the waterfall, the deeper plunge pool. It's also good to identify where the undercutting is taking place through hydraulic action. Now we can label some of the resistant rock that's fallen into the plunge pool and as top of that I'm going to put a little arrow that's showing the direction of the waterfall retreating upstream and finally a label showing the gorge that's forming downstream and don't forget every diagram needs to have a title which is going to be underlined nice and neatly now the best bit you can color it in 